Welcome to the part 3 of this tutorial. In this video we'll fix our bullets and create some decals for the impact. So let's start uh, by opening our script. And let's scroll down here and create a new function. Let's call it vector tree cast ray. We'll be casting a ray cast. Uh, inside it, let's create two variables int x equals screen dot width divided by two and int y equals screen dot height divided by two. So we can get the center of the screen. Then we write ray cast hit hit and we create a recast that shoots through the main camera in the center of the screen like so and now we check if the Raycast hits something. So physics raycast ray out hit. If hit dot transform different than no, so we actually hit some object. We return the hit point yeah that's right if we hit nothing we return a vector 3.0 we can also create do this if you want to see the ray being shot your ray ray dot origin ray dot direction times let's say 1000 new color 1f uh, something like that doesn't really matter just so we can see the line shooting if you want to it's not necessary it's for debug purpose so return zero and here we return our point that's right now let's go to our shoot function and here we create a vector tree called impact point and it will be the value that our recast gives us. Uh, then we need a reference to our bullet so let's do it now game, ob game object uh, bullet is equal uh, let's capital low like so so we have a reference to our instantiated bullet and if impact point is different than vector tree dot zero our bullets dot transform dot look at impact point so our bullet looks at our impact point and goes there and i think that's all for for that let's try it let's open the game if i play it now you can see that the bullet goes to the center like so Now we'll need to create some decals for it, for the impact, and we need to destroy the bullet when it collides. For this tutorial I'll be using these three bullet holes, uh, but you can choose whatever you want, I'll just pick this because they are free and there are very many options. 
If you want to get those, I'll leave the link in the description and you can just download it. After that, let's import our decals to our project. Just drag them in. I'll send them to the materials folder. Let's open them. I will use the concrete. Uh, one thing you need to do if you choose these decals is up here you need to click alpha is transparent and apply you need to do this for all of them like so and now let's go back to our script and implement this let's create two new variables here uh, let's create an array of sprites concrete decals and another one a private game object bullet hole prefab and down here we will do a game object bullet hole is equal to the new instance we are creating the bullet hole prefab in the impact point and quaternion dot identity and our bullet hole Let's get the component sprite renderer. Sprite will be one of our decals, so concrete decals. And let's lay, select a random between zero and concrete decals dot length. Okay, let's go back to Unity. Another thing we need to do is select them all again and make them sprite, like so, and apply. Now let's create a 2D object sprite. Let's scale it down to 0 0.05 on all axis, like so, and call this bullet hole prefab and just open the prefabs folder and drag it there now select the m4 and let's drag the prefab there and our materials to the array so they are here and if you try to play it now, we can see that we get the decals. They are glitching, we need to fix that. And if you shoot on the other side, we can see they don't align with the object. So we are going to fix that next. So open the script again and let's move these two lines down here make sure they are before the return otherwise they don't run and let's change the impact point to hit dot uh, point plus hit dot normal times a very small number like like that and let's rotate it so bullet hole dot dot transform dot look at hit point plus hit normal and this should take care of it if you save it and try that again we can see that we now have blood holes and they rotate depending on the surface
On the next video we will destroy our bullets and make some particle effects when they collide with the object so they are more realistic. Oh and by the way just increase the bullet speed. Let's go to the script. Something higher like 220 so they don't move that slow. We are supposed to almost not see them. Yeah, like that. So yeah, I'll see you on the next video. If you want to follow this series, feel free to subscribe. If you have questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you on the next video.